Today is Saturday, February the 13th. So today we are, we're not uh, doing downhill skiing, but we thought we'd try out cross country skiing. They have a place here in town, like a little Nordic track where they have 12 kilometers of trails. So it's something that I've never done, Nicole's never done. So we thought we'd try it out. So we just started here maybe five, 10 minutes ago and we're <laughs> about 200 meters down the course. And wow, this is, this is quite different than regular skiing. I've already fallen once. She's fell. She's fell once. I know you fell. You fall? fall. Anyways, so yeah, so it's we're trying this out. I'm not sure how long we're gonna make it if we keep <laughs> falling down. We we opted not to get the lessons because it was gonna be seventy dollars. Maybe we'll regret that later. I don't know. We thought it was. I thought it was gonna be like regular skiing. But it's nothing like regular skiing at all. But anyway, that's that's what we're doing. This is funny because Brandon's usually good at every single thing he does. <laughs> and so I expected him to be pretty good. <laughs> but he's struggling and it's kind of funny. It's funny. That's mean to say, but <laughs> I never really see him struggle in things. <laughs> I just want to go on the record and say that keep watching the video because what you're seeing now it is going to improve so I just want to go ahead and say that up front don't give up on it now don't give up on me now <laughs> no they don't oh lord I'm gonna fall. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> what the hell? Are you supposed to keep them going back? They do not. I'm sliding back as much as I do in regular speed. Oh, it's okay, funny. Keep going, keep going, right? Yeah. We're pretty decent in skiing, so we didn't think we'd have this much trouble. Okay, I got my glove back on. There he goes. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Here comes Nicole. Nicole, do the foot, the running foot, the running thing. Come over, come over this way. We're going this way. This is the track we're going down. You see the ski mountain up there in the distance, but we're on the flatland today. Okay, keep going, go down the hill. Just coast down the hill. I'm gonna go to the bottom of the hill and record Brandon coming down. And I'll probably fall going down. It's probably not a good idea. You okay? Okay, we're back on the hill that Brandon had trouble on. He's a perfectionist, so he's got to conquer it. We just did the whole trail and he feels more comfortable now. Here he comes. He said he has to conquer this.
feeling more confident. All right, good job. I knew he would be good after a little bit. He's good at everything. Well, we're coming at you again with a, another frozen lake. Yesterday, we were at the Flathead Lake, which is south of Whitefish. Today, we're at the Whitefish Lake, and we're at the city beach here. And you can see the, the sign behind me here. This is a city beach sign. And this is a lake right kind of in the middle of town, and it's, it's all frozen over. We're gonna walk out on it in a minute. But this is a swimming spot in the summertime. So, in the summertime, this is all uh, the sandy beach right here. I found this photo of the Whitefish City Beach. And you can see here, this is the picture in the summertime. On the left, obviously, and then on the right, it's currently on the winter. So I thought it was just interesting to put this in here just for com contrast and comparison to see the difference between the winter and summer season of the beach. But right now, you can see it's quite the opposite of sand and swimming. More like a frozen tundra. So it's snow, a lot of snow, and then out there you see the frozen lake. And looking back up this direction, you'll see the ski mountain over there to in the distance and a bunch of other various mountains out there. This is a real popular lake in the summertime. A lot of boating activities, a lot of swimming activities. And in the wintertime, you can kind of see way off there in the distance, there's some red type tents and those guys are ice fishing out there. So I, just, I count four of them out there ice fishing on the lake right now. But we're gonna walk out here and have a look Nicole's gonna go also. <laughs> so now we're actually out on the lake, walking on the lake, where it's frozen. It's kind of scary. Yeah, it's uh, pretty eerie. This, this is our uh, first week to ever walk on a frozen lake. Two days in a row, yesterday Flathead Lake and then today at uh, Whitefish Lake. You just kind of see the ice down here. There's a couple inches of snow on top of the ice. Just kind of see the ice there. I'll walk out here, but we're scared to go too far. You can see the ice looks right over here. It's getting quite a bit thinner. So we're gonna avoid that spot. But, I don't know, we're about 100 foot, foot out offshore or something like that right now. You know, the ice looks quite, quite thin right there. I don't think I'll walk out there any further. But it's really nice that the lake is, you can see a lot of, there's a lot of nice homes that are on the lake also. It's only a few inches. I was reading and it said about four inches, three to four inches. Oh, really? Yeah. 